So in this tutorial, we're gonna talk about map, filter, and lambda expressions. So lambda expressions is use them to define anonymous function. And they look like this. We use lambda, this is an argument list, upper, uh, so we have then the two dot expression, and then we have our expression. So here we define a lambda function that is gonna be returning the summation of two numbers. So we write lambda, which is actually like, uh, let's say we are calling def, we are actually using two arguments, so we want to take as input two numbers, and we are gonna be returning the summation of this, so we do x plus y. So this is sum, and this is an anonymous function that, uh, let's say, uh, that sum is not the name of the function, but it actually points to the location of the lambda function in the memory. So if we call sum, parenthesis, and put two numbers, then x will become 5, y will become 10, and the summation, the result of sum, will be x plus 10. So it will be 5 plus 10. And uh, if we were to turn it into a named function, what we are going to be using was sum x point uh, x uh, X. So what we were going to do is uh, define sum with two arguments and we were going to return the summation. So this is pretty much the same thing. Then we have the map function, which looks like that. It takes a function argument and a sequence as a second argument. So we first wanna, so we're gonna use map to get the square values of a sequence. So first we are going to be defining a function that will return the square of a number. So this is the function square, and then we will have a sequence. So we have a sequence of, uh, of five uh, numbers, and we are going to square them using the map. So we define map square, which is the function that the map is going to be calling for each element of the num sequence. So map is actually an iterator. Amazing. So by calling list, uh, list will be calling the iterator for each value and we're gonna be getting a list with a squared result and it maps exactly as expected and we can also use map with a lambda function and the lambda function is gonna be squaring the input so we have lambda x and the result will be the square value and again we can apply it to nums and using the list because again the map is an iterator by calling list the iterator is called it's looped over using next and we get the result and finally we have filtering so filtering is something that you want to be using if you want to test for equality of a boolean value so the filter function is going to be keeping only elements that are gonna be true. So by using filter with a lambda and using the Fibonacci sequence, we want to find the odd numbers. So this statement here inside the lambda, x modulo two is gonna be is going to be true only for odd numbers because odd numbers will have modulo of two, it will be equal to one, which is true in Boolean case. And the even numbers are gonna be equal to zero. So we are calling this filter function and the result will be 1.1.2.5.8 and blah, blah, blah. So the result is gonna be 1.1.35, uh, 13, 21, 55. So these are the odd numbers of the Fibonacci sequence up to five 